Hi everyone and a warm welcome to QuantPy. In this video, we will derive the SDEs for the dynamics of the Black-Scholes stock price process under the risk neutral measure and under the stock measure. We recall that Black-Scholes assumes that the stock price dynamics are given by the following geometric Brownian SDE, where the drift and diffusion terms are proportional to the value of the process, and where the bank account is assumed to be deterministic. So it grows at continuous rate R, with no stochastic term, which we can easily solve by using the separation of variables method. The separation of variables method is the most well-known method for solving differential equations. Now, it is easy to explain what we are trying to achieve in this video. We have the stock dynamics under the physical or real probability measure, and we want to know how these dynamics will look like. Firstly, under the risk neutral measure, which is the measure associated with the bank account numeraire, and then secondly, under the measure associated with the stock price numeraire. As we recall, the numeraire is simply an asset which acts as a measure of value, for example, money or gold or tulip bulbs. As is always the case in these types of derivations, we simply need three key concepts, the general valuation formula, Martingale and the Gersonov theorem. The names sound grand, but the concepts they represent are quite intuitive, as we shall see very shortly. The general valuation formula states that the value of an asset expressed in the units of another traded asset is a martingale under some probability measure. For example, the value of an asset expressed in the units of the bank account is a martingale under the risk neutral measure. Similarly, the value of the same asset expressed in the units of the stock will be a martingale under the measure induced by using the stock as numeraire. To derive the dynamics of the stock under the risk neutral measure, we write this formula in terms of the price of the stock expressed in the units of the bank account, so the stock price scaled by the value of the bank account will be a martingale under the risk neutral measure. If we denote the ratio of the stock price and the bank account, by Z, then what Martingale really means is that the SDE of Z will have zero drift under the risk neutral measure, and WQ is our standard Brownian motion under the Q measure. Now let's apply Ito's rule to the product of S and 1 over B, so we get. Now let's calculate the differential of 1 over B. And we substitute 1 over b for the exponential of minus r times t. We can substitute back into the expression to get. Now we substitute for ds from the equation at the top left to get. Now we combine the expression and factor out sigma times ratio of s and b. Now we substitute z for the ratio of s and b to get. Now, both expressions describe the dynamics of Z, so they must be equal, which means the Brownian motions under the original measure and the Brownian motion under the risk neutral measure must be linked as follows. Now, we substitute for the old Brownian to get the dynamics in terms of the new Brownian. We get rid of the brackets to simplify the expression. The terms containing the mu's cancel. So the drift is equal to the risk free rate under the risk neutral measure. Now let's move on to the second topic, which is to determine the dynamics under the stock measure. Let's try a different approach now, which uses the Gasanov theorem or the change of numeraire technique. We saw earlier that the value of an asset expressed in the units of the bank account is a martingale under the risk neutral measure. The value of the same asset expressed in the units of the stock will be a martingale under the measure 
induced by using the stock as numeraire. Now, we take B0 to the right hand side, inside the expectation to get. Analogously, we can take S0 inside the expectation on the right hand side. Now, as both expressions represent the price of the same asset, and as these expressions hold for any asset, it means the terms inside the expectations must be equal. Now, we rearrange to get the derivative of the measure of P with respect to the measure Q, so we get. Now, we know from the geometric Brownian motion video that the solution of the stock price SDE under the risk neutral measure is as follows, which we can use to substitute for ST over S0, and we also substitute for the ratio of the bank account from the equation at the top right to get. The terms containing R cancel, and we get. Now, let's recall the Cameron Martin Gersonov theorem. If WQ is a Brownian motion process under the probability measure Q, and we shift the process by Y, then the shifted process must be a Brownian motion under the measure PS, which can be identified through its density or its derivative with respect to the old measure. We could equally write the relationship between the two Brownians in differential form as follows. Comparing the derivative at hand with the Radon Nicodem of the Cameron Martin Gersonov theorem, we see that the function y in the Gersonov theorem equals a constant, which is sigma. We write the relationship between the two Brownians as follows. Now we substitute for the Brownian under Q to get combining dt terms, we get the dynamics of the stock price under the probability measure associated with the stock numeraire. So to summarize, under the original measure, the drift of the stock price SDE is equal to mu. If we use the risk neutral measure, then the drift is equal to R. And if we use the probability measure induced by the stock price, then the drift is equal to r plus sigma squared. We hope you enjoyed the video and we look forward to seeing you in the next.